Hi and welcome to Favorite Rugby Beyond Forever Sports and the All Blacks have announced their side to take on Ireland this weekend. The number one side in the world is what stands between the All Blacks and the semi-final berth. And yeah, it'll be a massive moment actually if this All Black side were to be knocked out of the competition at a, at a quarter-final stage. We're talking about a side that's won three World Cups. We're talking about a side which always goes in the tournament as one of the favorite teams. And even this year, whilst it might not be the strongest All Black side. They still went to the tournament as as one of the tournament favourites, I'd say, you know, within the top four. And their performance in the group stages, yeah, a bit of a slip up against France, but the way they responded would mean that I think that they a lot of people thinking that they could go on to win the tournament. Um, so this is always gonna be a very interesting team announcement. Um, before we get on to the team announcement, as well as some very big news inside the All Blacks camp, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. In terms of the announcement, first of all, there is some pretty big news. There is a disciplinary issue within the squad. And Mark Talea has been left out as a result of it. Very, very interesting. Um, I did my prediction yesterday. And um, I had Mark Talea starting on the wing, as he has for pretty much um, uh, for all sort of the big game stuff like that. And, and as a result, I thought that he was a shoo-in. However, um, he has been left on the side due to a disciplinary issue. So in terms of what has been said, um, he uh, the infoster said that um, Talia's uh, breach has been of a minor nature, but nonetheless had results in being left out of the selection picture this week. Um, apparently, he um, broke the team curfew by a considerable time period. And... Um, yeah, he he he. Ian Foster did confirm that that it was a, a disciplinary thing. He said that he breached the protocol, nothing major, but enough to keep him out of selection this week. We still love him. He's trained well. It happens. Uh, it's a very interesting sort of thing, isn't it? You know, uh, with regards to leaving up really good players, you know, and it's about precedent, isn't it? Um, Ian Foster said that it is what it is. For us, it's pretty clear cut. I don't really want to talk about it anymore. We've dealt with it as a team and moved on. So. Yeah, I think I suppose it's one of those things, you know, you kind of go into an environment and you basically say, right, guys, these are the rules, you know, follow them and we'll be okay. But if you don't follow them, there will be repercussions. He hasn't followed them and you then have to then make a decision. Are you going to, you know, back your rules and, and then ban him, ban him or, or stand him down, for example, and not play him? Or are you going to adjust because of the type of player? So they haven't gone with that route. They have not selected him. And as a result, they spun Luka gets an opportunity. So let's have a look at the team, shall we? This is how they do a lineup. Pretty similar to what I had yesterday. Um, I had Tyrell Lomax off the bench, but he has been cleared and fit to start. So it will be Ethan De Groot, um, Dane, uh, Craig Taylor, and Till Lomax in that front row. Uh, Brody Vitalik, Scott Barrett, as expected. And then, as I predicted, Shannon Vizel, uh, Sam Kane, and Artie Sevier do start as well. Um, so, yeah, I think that Ian Foster has... Very much got a, a team on paper that he that he that he knows and he, and he trusts basically. There's certain players like a Sam Kane that he really does trust. Um, so I don't think that pack is too unexpected. Uh, much like the back line, you know, Aaron Smith next to Richard Mwanga. I would have really liked to have seen him throw the last with Dan McKenzie. He is on the bench, so he can come on to try and effect some change in the latter, in the latter stages. Um, and then it is uh, the two wings are Lester Fanganuka and Will Jordan. Uh, in the center, there's Jordi Barrett, Rico Awani, nothing too uh, surprising there. And then you've got Bowden Barrett at full back. Uh, off the bench, it will be Dan Coles. I did call this actually. I said that for whatever reason, Samuel and Takawao, who a year ago was irreplaceable almost for the All Blacks, uh, has not quite been making it so far. They've really gone with the experience of Curry Taylor and Dan Coles. And this match, no different. But speaking of inexperience, Tamaki Williams will play. You know, in his first World Cup, you know, still winning by five or six caps, I think. Yeah, I mean, he made, his, he made his debut against South Africa in about the beginning of August, I think it was. And uh, he'll now be off the bench play in a, in a New Zealand team in the quarterfinals. So a big moment for the youngster, the young prop. Uh, Fletcher Newell getting an opportunity as well. Then it's Sam Whitelock, Dalton Papali'i, Finley Christie, Jay McKenzie, and Anton Leonard Brown. Surprised by that Finley Christie selection. I can't understand why you would not pick. Camroy God. I think Camroy God is is something really special. I mean, yes, he's he's young, he's twenty two years old, but um yeah, I just I just look at him and I think that he, he just looks world class, absolutely world class. Um and I and I would have selected him to be honest. Um I'm very surprised they've gone with, with Finley Chris. He's a good player. But I mean for me, Roy God looks like he's almost ready, you know, to, to take over from Aaron Smith. Maybe, you know, he's still got a bit of work to do in terms of his overall game, but he's a genuine try scoring threat. He's an exciting player with ball in hand. I really enjoy his service and, and, and the speed of play. I'm a big fan of him, but he doesn't get the nod. Finney Christie gets an opportunity. It's a very good all-black side. 
I don't think it's a side that scares Ireland, though. You know, that's an interesting thing. I think Ireland will expect a lot of this. And yes, there are there are there are, there are players here who can become points of differences. David McKenzie can 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 you know spark game like that. Richie Mwanga on his day can can guard a team who to 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 trophies. You know, he's got that pedigree. Um, you know, there's players like Artie Severe, for example. Shane Brazil has been in great form. Uh, Jordy Barrett's been really good. So there are definitely players. I mean, and and that's what we mentioned. Will Jordan is one of the best players in the world. So definitely players here who can turn it up on the day and 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 in a moment can put the team on the front line. But again, I don't think Ireland will be surprised by this team. I don't think they'll fear it. There's a very interesting dynamic going into the side. I will tell this weekend. Let me know what you think about the team down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.